Hey guys, it's Eddie. I'm gonna shoot a quick video. I gotta vent a little bit. Uh, we've got some real morons out here in this industry that really don't need to be out here. Uh, basically, about a week ago, I got a, serve, a no heat call. It's a vacant house, lady selling it. So I meet the real estate agent over there. Uh, the igniter was bad. Uh, so I put an igniter on there, got the furnace to fire off. And shortly after it fired off, it had a really strong odor. It was like a burnt transformer, burnt plastic smell or something. I don't know. It smelled really bad. So I get my CO detector out. I'll show you what I wear. I wear it with me. It's my little little testo. It was beeping. I looked at it. It was up to like a hundred. I was like, what the hell, man? So I pulled the coil door off, stuck my meter in there, and it went up to like 400 parts per million. Uh, it, the problem is it had a defective secondary heat exchanger. The, the secondary heat exchanger was clogged up. Uh, and then this had holes and everything, and I know that's what it is. I, mean, I didn't visually look at it, but this is not my, uh, it's not my first rodeo. So I tell the lady she needs a new secondary heat exchanger. She tells me to go ahead and put it in. I got it on order, went today to put it in. And she tells me that she had her home warranty company come out. And they said that there's nothing wrong with the heat exchanger. Really? I mean, I showed the lady the, uh, my CO meter. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I showed the lady my CO meter. Uh, I got it went up to like 500, 800, I think it was right around 800 parts per million. Uh, you know, guys, you gotta have the tools. I was going to shoot a video, I mean, I was going to go home and get my camera because they were going to replace that heat exchanger today. I was going to shoot a video on this, uh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Now, this is the second one that I ran into. It was one, one day, I've got the uh, heat exchanger at my office. I'm going to shoot a little video showing you that heat exchanger. But it, that was on Sunday. Then Monday I ran into the same exact thing. So two heat exchangers in one week. Alright. If you're looking at the burners on the second one it looked pretty good. It had a blue flame. Everything looked fine on it. The only thing that tipped me off personally was the smell. All right, so I went ahead and dug in deeper and found freaking CO through the roof. The first one on Sunday, uh, when it fired off, now it was a little louder. Uh, the very far right burner was, I guess it was hunting, I guess what you'd call it, but it was kind of just fluttering, not real bad. I almost thought it was like a combustion problem, so I took the combustion box apart trying to find a problem with that. And uh, we went outside, and that's when I smelt that outside. It was terrible, so my meter went off again, and it got up to like 900 parts per million out there, almost a thousand. Uh, but you all should be carrying, at the minimum, you should be carrying these personal CO detectors. Uh, and you never know what you're going to walk into on these houses. I've had this meter go off in the two years that I've had it, or maybe a year and a half that I've had it, I mean several times has it gone off. Uh, if you all don't have these CO detectors, if you all are not checking COs, that is absolutely nuts. Now, I can tell you that I used not check them, but that's before I know what I know now. Alright, so if you're watching this video now, now you know there's no excuse not to be carrying those CO detectors. You don't need combustion analyzers, but at least drill a hole in the vent pipe and check the CO. I mean, it's absolutely nuts. I mean, I wish somebody would have taught me that earlier. Uh, but if that's the least you do, I mean, my God, at least do that for the safety of your customers. Uh, a lot of them times you have a burnt up furnace and looking at it, you'll never know it. You can get a CO detector for a couple hundred bucks, guys. Uh, but don't be like this moron here. And I've told this lady I'm reporting it to the city of Louisville, and I'm taking all my precautions. But, 
You know, I've even told her to have that guy meet me out there. And if you're watching this video, I'm going to show you up. Uh, my God, don't jeopardize. This is a vacant house. Somebody's getting ready to buy this house, and you're getting ready to dump carbon monoxide right in their lap. They ain't, they don't, they ain't even going to see it coming. They think everything's good. and You know, so at least I hope she's going to call me back where I can meet the guy. At least I can educate him a little bit. Uh, and I hope, you know, at least one of you all go out and buy you a CO detector. I mean, I think it's the most important tool when you're doing these checks in these furnaces. But I will get back. Now, I'm going to show you all what one of them heat exchangers look like. Uh, and you can't always tell by looking at the burners and listening for air turbulence in the burners. You can't always go by that. Uh, I was going to prove it. I was going to prove it today. And hopefully I still will be able to. I hope she'll call me back. But, you know, it ended up being they're going to kick in home warranty now. I, don't, I mean, I guess they purchased home warranty after the fact, after I told them the heat exchanger's bad, so they're going to try to squeeze it through that way now. Uh, you know, I don't know. But I'll get that other video up. And I want to show you what the what the heat exchangers are looking like. It was pretty scary when I saw it. Uh, but anyways, peace out. Get you a CO detector. Uh, you can buy them for, I think, uh, I think UEI had one. I think it was UEI for like 90 bucks or something. They, they're not all that expensive for them. They protect you. If you're walking into a house that does have a lot of CO, you don't want to be sitting in there huffing that stuff. Um, you know, and it protects your homeowners. I mean, it's, it's a crazy tool not to have around your neck. All right. Peace out, guys. Thanks.